Hi guys, welcome to Full Time Devils. I'm Adam McCullough outside Old Trafford where Manchester United have drawn 1-1 with Stoke City on a very, very, very disappointing day. Now, in terms of performance, the performance wasn't bad from Manchester United. In the first half, we could have scored two or three. We should have scored two and three. Um, Jesse Lingard almost set up Zlatan, who should have scored. Zlatan set up Lingard, who should have scored. Pogba could have scored. There were so many opportunities for Manchester United in that first half, and we just didn't take any of them. It was nil-nil at half-time again. The same lineup that started against Leicester started again against Stoke, and it worked because we made those chances, but we just didn't take them. It was so frustrating. On another day, we're going in 3-4-0 at half-time. And that's the difference against Zoria again on Thursday as well. We kind of turned up expecting to score and the goals didn't come. And when them goals don't come and the opponents grow in confidence, their fans grow in confidence, United fans start to get nervous and start umming and ahhing because we're still feeling a little hangover from the Van Gaal era, then it starts to get on top and it starts playing on your mind. But the performance was spot on, just didn't get that goal. Second half, I thought the substitutions were a little bit too late. I wouldn't have took off Matter. I wouldn't have brought on Wayne Rooney. I thought Anthony Marshall was the right move, but the goal as well was a fantastic finish, by the way, but it wasn't enough. Just wasn't enough. We never got the goals. Jesse Lingard, big miss, big chances. Zlatan, who I thought was excellent on the ball, just didn't take his chances. And like I said, on another day, we're going to get three points. We're going to get four or five goals and Stoke are going to get another dick in. But it didn't happen. And I had that feeling. I said it after Zoya. If we play like we did again there, where we don't take our chances and we don't make it count in the final third, Stoke will make us pay for it. And that's exactly what they did today. Now, if you look at the performance, yes, it was OK. It's only one result. But then if you look in the grand scheme of things with us having, Man uh, sorry, with us having Chelsea and Liverpool coming up in the league away from home as well, we can't afford to drop any more points in those games. Yes, it's early, but we're already potentially eight points behind Manchester City, who are going to be leading the way. And now we're going to be after playing catch up. And although, yes, positives to take from the performance, negatives in the bigger picture when you're looking at the Premier League, because if we want to win the title, we can't allow as big a gap to develop um, so early on in the season. Like the chap on the fan cam said earlier, you can't win the league in October, but you can lose it. So it's a big month coming up for Manchester United. We've got the players, we played well, we've got the manager. Yes, he can change things around, but big games coming up in October after this international break. And I'm so pissed off that I have to sit on this draw now, which feels like a defeat for two weeks, watching boring international football. My man of the match today was a toss of a coin between Eric Bailly and Ander Herrera. I thought Ander Herrera showed exactly why we need to build our midfield around him. And Eric Bailly put in another fantastic performance. So well done to those two. Like I said, toss of a coin between them. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you keep it like to Full Time Devils because we've got fan cams coming your way very, very soon. For now, though, I'm Adam McCullough. I'm out of here.